We're breaking down how Chelsea popped all the bubbles, why Saliba just handed City the title and a new worst defender this season so far here at 48 Hours Football. This is What's He Doing? What's He Dad? First game. Speaking of bubbles getting popped. Yeah. West Ham versus Chelsea. We start as we mean to go on. 3-0 win for the Blues. Oi. I mean, we played very well. We did play very well. Very well. Okay, Sean, up first is Wan-Bissaka for me. Hilariously out of position. Hoop. What is he doing? What's he done? He's, he's well out of position and he's just let Jackson all the way through. He did. He got one two so hard. So hard. Up next, Lucas, probably the laziest midfielder in the league. Yeah. Like, I'm watching him and the ball's being just played within a yard of him. Mm -hmm. And he's just like, oh, I could get that, but it's too far. And then the next ball's played a yard past him and he's like, oh, I could have got that, but it's too far. <laughs> and then Jackson's in on goal yet again. Yeah, two for the boy on the double. West Ham's defence are so slow. No, very slow. If Jackson's dancing around you, says something. I mean, and he's onside. I mean, that's why the goal would have counted. I know, but unbelievable. He's never onside. Finally. Who's at fault for the third goal? All right, Sean, third and final goal is Konstantinos Mavropanos, one of our favourite names here at 48 Hours. Second best name in the league. Second best Only name. Only to Crescencio Somerville. Oh, wow, what a name. <laughs> Crescencio. Yeah. It's his first touch. It's awful. It's just landed straight to Caicedo. Laid it off to Jackson. Laid it off to Palmer. Goal. There was also a horrible tackle in this from Suchek. Really? Who should have been set off so hard. So, goodbye, Suchek. I think he actually got the ball. Mm. But, you know, huh. it looked bad. Still rough. Yeah, that's Chelsea 3 0. Sean is up next. Ruff, 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 ruff. I don't know. You tell me. Yeah, it's Lyceve. Leicester, Everton. What, what's the day before Leicester? <laughs> what's the day before Leicester? <laughs> Leicester Eve. We're going to do that with every Everton game. When they're away. When they're away. But they're not away. They, they were away. away. Oh, fair yeah. enough. Right, there, you go, there you go. Never trust a man with two, two first names. names. Fourth commandment has, has been adopted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a thing now. Yeah. James Justin. What are the again. commandments, Sean? Let's remind them. That we can remind them as we go through. I think every single one gets hit. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. I oh, will remind you on the go then. So, never trust a man with new first names. Number four, newest one. Never trust a man with two first names. That was what I said. You said new first names. Oh, never trust a man with two first names. But Dyslexia. James Justin got switched up on off the ball. <laughs> yeah. And it's beautiful. Because if you're not paying attention to it, like a, a <laughs> normal football fan would be like, and die is just open and receive the ball. Yeah. But he, he dropped the shoulder on Justin without even having the ball at his feet. Yeah, just, he just went, oh! he passed the ball off, then faked in left. Mm -hmm. Just went round it. A hot turd. Bomb, bomb. But just the simplest pass to him, and then a brilliant finish. Yeah, Sean, up next is Garner. He was too busy to defend but because he was lying down. Yeah. Can't lie down on the job, as his teammate showed him. Oh, my God. <laughs> Michael Keane was going nuts. <laughs> going mental at him. What are you doing on the floor, lad? Get up. Like, Michael Keane, like, nearly won this header. Yeah. Yeah, but Garner is just laying in the box. He's laying in the box. If Garner wasn't laid on the floor, I'd have given it to Michael Keane. All oh, right. But Garner is laid on the floor. And instead of jumping, he laid down. Guy's halfway through an old Spice advert audition. What's he no, doing? No, dude hit, like, he's got inverted controls up. He meant to jump and lay down. <laughs> Straight down. Press up and went down. He's in a plane. Controls upside down, boss. That's pretty much it, though. That's 1-1. One, one. That game was pretty pretty dull. Yeah, I mean, Everton should have won it, but they're Everton, so they have to throw away they points. They don't win nothing. Yep. Three, three weeks on a bounce, they've just chucked points away. They love chucking points away. At least they didn't lose 3-2 this week, though. Yeah, true. At least they didn't lose the lead. Curse, they did. <laughs> oh, they did. Curse lifted. Liverpool. Liverpool, Liverpool, Bournemouth. This was an absolute hound in. Louis Diaz masterclass just bullied Bournemouth from the outset. It's not his masterclass. I think it's more Liverpool. Bournemouth forgot to defend the left wing. <laughs> well, but... they, he got he hounded, hounded, hounded. A goal disallowed from Semenyo. Hounded, 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 and then they eventually just broke through. They just forgot the left wing. <laughs> and if Trent was a good defender, Semenyo would have been onside. Yeah, well, <laughs> Semenyo blitzed Trent, yeah. and Trent was like, "I'm not running after you." Yeah. Luckily, he ran now offside. You're offside, mate. Uh, who's up first then? Kepa. Kepa. One of the commandments here at 48 Hours is we don't blame the keepers unless we have to. Yeah. And Kepa, it's a long ball over the top. Yeah. The camera pans to Luis Diaz, who controls it. Three yards behind yard him. line. Outside his box. Yeah, well, what are you doing there, lad? What have you done? <laughs> Why are you there? <laughs> Why are you there? But he's just... The highlights were fun. As a keeper, this is saying you never want to do. This, this is classic... You've never played with this team before. Did he? And it, there's no communication. Did he forget Luis Diaz didn't play for Bournemouth? Did no. he, was he expecting like him to just leave it? Exactly. I don't know. No, he's just he's tried to. Brilliant touch. Great. The ball over the top was great. Yeah. Great touch. And then Kepa, what are you doing? Like? Get in your goal. Get in the goal. <laughs> there, there was an excellent attempt by one of the centre backs that he just threw himself. I, I, I was. I thought he was gonna just save it. Yeah, he, he did think about it. He yeah, was he like, was, he's like, oh, I'll get sent off, but I'll stop the goal. Yeah, but he's not worth about it. it. You're getting battered anyway. Okay, yeah, so he basically sees Trent bombardering towards him. Sean wrote the script. No, he basically sees Trent bombardering towards him, which means yeah, Louis Diaz is completely free on the left. Yeah, I mean, Araujo should have just stayed on Louis Diaz. 
He should have. But he was mesmerised by was. the tread. Enjoying that at 66, just and running straight past him. There was something about it that just made him <laughs> leave his position at right back, leave the left He's wing open, in. and just go, I'm just going to get closer and closer to Trent because yeah. this run is perfect. Yeah. And then he just got the... Ruby Diaz, one of Liverpool's best ever players, is just going to go, but... Just go back. Not even top 20. Oh, fair enough. Your crouch gets in before Luke Diaz <laughs> does. Didn't even know crouch play for Liverpool. Play for everyone, boss. <laughs> Up and next. Go on. No fault. No fault for no Darwin. Fault. No one this could do anything about this. mental. Power yeah, of the top knot in the Premier League is going crazy right now. Yeah. Darwin Nunez might have just put himself back in the Liverpool starting 11 with this goal. <laughs> He's learned how to put the ball on very target now, mm. but he just has to play out on the right. Sadly, Salah plays out on the right. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I don't think he's going to get in over Salah yet. Never. But this supposed goal, to be the striker. This goal was brilliant. Yeah. Enjoyed this. No fault. If there's no one to blame and no one else in the, you know, no one that we think could have done anything to stop it, yeah. then it gets no fault. Simple as. No fault. Last year, no fault won the list. Hey. Eh? No, last year, no fault won the list. What do you mean won the list? It was the most. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, obviously. That's going to be... It's going to happen this year. <laughs> I feel like there was at least like nine by this time last year. Yeah. There's four. That's it. So <laughs> we're being far stricter. Yeah. Uh, up next is Tottenham Hotspur, Brentford. Spurs, Brent. Or as I wrote it, Spurs beat. Spurs beat. <laughs> Missed Spurs beat Brentford quite badly here. I mean, Brentford doing it again, scoring within... Scoring first. Two, scoring three minutes. 60 seconds. Mm? Just what they do now, I guess. This goal is so. beautiful as well. But who's at fault for it, Carl? I'll tell you who's at fault for it. It's Kulusevski, Sean. It is. Yeah, he just gives up possession and in the midfield of all places. And then he gets crossed straight in over from Potter all the way to Mbwemo. Tapped in. Yeah, right. Within two it? minutes. What's going on? What are we doing? We done. Moving on. Who's up next, Sean? No. Beginning of this, we said new worst defender in the league. Oh, it's not Ethan, is it? His name's Ethan Pinnock. Oh, no. My word. Ahmed Hodzic left the league. How far has he got on the and, list? And Pinnock went, you know what? I'm taking your spot. <laughs> So we've got to call it the pinnock list. <laughs> I guess. We'll think of something for it. Yeah. The pinnock board. I don't know. I think a pin board. Yeah, I mean, he forgot who he plays for and decided, oh, I'm just going to pass it to Madison. Yeah. I might just lay it into my centre attacking mid. I play for Spurs. Yeah, no, he doesn't. No, you don't. You play for Brentford and you've just passed it to their best player. Yeah, you can't help Tottenham. They're already Tottenham. Don't need to help them. Let them try harder. And then Madison, obviously, is shot saved and then Solanke scores and does yeah. that thing. But, of you course. Know. So, on, so up next... Second place to Ethan Pinnock on our list. Going first? Yeah. Oh, it's coming up soon. It's Nathan Collins. It is. It is. What's he doing? What's he done? I'll tell you. Uh, it's, it's another example of getting shoulder dropped. Like last week, everyone getting done by the shoulder. This year, apparently, the feint is the only move you need. So if you like playing EA24, apparently feints work really well in legendary mode or in real life because, uh, yeah, he got sent by this shoulder drop. Whoa, duck L under. Looking at this season... Eddie Guerrero would be later than the Premier League. <laughs> the way his shoulders moved, wow. <laughs> just shimmy all the way yeah. to the goal. Bosh. He'd just be walking in the net. All right, go on then. Tell him the teaser I gave you. Uh, Ethan Pinnock's up next. Yeah, again. Now, this could have been several players. Yeah. But I feel Ethan Pinnock missed the key interception hmm. where Son literally kicked the ball at him. Yeah. And by the trust of God, it went through him. Yeah. Somehow he managed to melt his body around the ball so he wouldn't <laughs> touch it. Yeah. I, I genuinely How don't... How have you missed the ball? Stuff? The ball was kicked straight at him, yeah. at his feet, <laughs> and just somehow got round him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just put your feet there. Just don't move. Do move. Do something. And then Madison decided to chip the keeper and take his shirt off, even though he's got an undershirt on. Yeah, I know. He, he took it off to be like, look at me, not look at the team. That's not a good team player, to be fair. Well, I mean, why are you taking your shirt off if you've got an undershirt on? Well, take the undershirt off. The whole point of taking the shirt off is like, i got abs. Exactly. Yeah. Southampton versus Ipswich. Oh, never mind then. Who's up first? Oh, I swear to I'm skipping all sorts. Yep, Southampton, Ipswich now, Sean. Uh, yeah, Sean, up first is two on Zebe for me. What's he doing? What's he... I'll tell you what he's doing. Masterclass in clearance is here. Three yards. Hoof. Three yards. This was beautiful. Yeah. Maximum effort. Had Zero me... results. Had me cackling at the screen. His clearance went three yards along the floor. He did. That's what I just told you. How do you, how, how? Oh, how? Yeah, that's a hell of a miss kick. He only hit it with his lace. Dude's whole life, <laughs> he's been kicking that ball as far as he can. Yeah. This time, when he ripped his foot back to launch it and made contact with the ball, it went three yards. Yeah, well, miss, that's what happens if you, if you barely skim the ball. He made full contact with the ball. Yeah, but he ain't going three yards on full contact. It's like he wanted to pass it to him. A clown. Yeah, clown. Go on then, equaliser for Ipswich. How do you say a jelly sweet if you're from up north? What? How do you say a jelly sweet? If you're from up north. Oh, Aribo. Aribo. <laughs> Aribo. This is potentially the best substitute of all time. Why is that? Came on in the 91st minute, deflected a goal past his own keeper in the 95th. Yeah, off his nut, wasn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. It's off his shoulder as well. It looked, it, this looked like a no fault, didn't it? From Nah. 
from a spot. And Ipswich then defender scoring a screamer, never in a spot. Some went wrong. <laughs> some went wrong. Some somewhere. went wrong. Yeah. Some would say. <laughs> yeah, no. Captain scoring a... Yeah. Deflections are harsh to give because they're supposed to block them, but you can't block them past your own keeper. So. I mean, if you're going to block it, block it. Yeah, exactly. Don't, don't block, block it into it. your own goal. Yeah, exactly. And if it, it didn't go down as an own goal, though, did it? Had it had done, what would that have been? A commandment. That would have been commandment number two, which is if you give an own goal, you're getting the fault, period. No, no own goals this week. Exactly. So that's Very how you're getting rare. that commandment. Now, Sean, go on. It's full of Newcastle. Yeah, now it's full of Newcastle. You lot. Yeah, so this this shirt is not doing too well at the moment. I wear it. No, that's right. It's comfortable. Fun. It fits well. So they can't play football very well at the moment. Harvey Mann's scoring again, though. Yeah, Come I mean, on, the boy is, a, I told you, he's a good signing. Nah, lost. It could be. He'll, he'll, he'll score maximum four goals this season. He's already got two. Yeah, well, first time before here is Fabian. Fabian Shaw. Mr. Shaw. Do you believe in life after love? <laughs> what? Do you believe in oh. life after love? Do you believe after love? Copyright, boss. Every time we do film one of these, I have to try and do an impression of a really aged female singer now. Kylie Minogue last aged. year, last week. Is Kylie Minogue aged? She's old. She's like 50 at least. She's old. 50 at least. That's not old, though, That's is double it? your age, That's mate. midlife. That's midlife crisis. Well, midlife um, crisis, she makes a lot of money. She does, yeah. <laughs> Mine's the same. Awful defending from Fabian Cher here, Sean. He just gave, yeah, he gave Raul Jimenez way too much time in the box to do his thing. And he let him control, it, control it with his chest yep. and then bounce and then score. Gave him all the time, no pressure, exactly. He was stood behind him the whole time. Just I'm like, glad you were watching the game as well. He's like, you won't do it. <laughs> you won't shoot. He's sharp. All right, and who's up next? Pope. What's he doing and what's he done? He's Rob Greened it. Has he? Oh, yeah. I just, like, like, he saved the ball. He's got, his whole hand was behind the ball. Yep. And it still went in. Yep. How does that happen? I'm confused. Because it's weak wrist week here, just at Newcastle. Though. There wasn't, it's, his hand didn't bend. Nothing happened. Yeah, no, shot hard. He got, he got his whole hand behind the ball. I think his confidence is rocked at the moment because he's back from injury and he's not playing very well. Whole hand behind the ball, ball still went in. Yeah, I, I had to watch the game and he, he wasn't playing well. He, he made one really, really good save at the end, but they were already losing way before that. So it's, How did the ball go in? It's power, like bad technique saving it. Like just he just bottled it. His confidence is low. So confidence relates to competence very well. I am confused. Yeah, well, it is what it is. I will remain confused. I was not given. That's what answer. he's doing. Who's up next? I'm next is Tete. With what? I'll tell you. Hoop. Hoop. Hilariously out of position yet again. Hoop, 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 de joop. This man started wobbling. Uh, yeah, this man started wobbling at the thought of Henry Bar <laughs> This man started wobbling at the thought of Harvey Barnes taking a shot. And ran out of the way. Didn't didn't even want to. Oh no play. no, he didn't run out of the way. He got nutmeg. Oh, yeah, his legs were shaking. <laughs> he was giving it the Looney Tunes. Yeah. Oh, he was scared. Yeah, it's Harvey Barnes, mate. Just two foot him. This was a, a sweet <laughs> shot as well. A shot like this, technique wise, not many keepers are saving that. Nah, it's proper bottom corner in it. Pope no. certainly ain't saving that. Like, he, he did well here. I mean, it was a waste of time, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It is what it is. What's he doing? Waste of time when you got Gamarish at the back. Yeah, yeah, I know. Another <laughs> horrendous lead, didn't he? He's head in hand straight away afterwards as well. Straight at him and as his ass. Yeah. Just straight at it. Just hit him and then just bounces nice and sweetly. Nelson, right place, right time. Yeah. But just overcomplicating things at the back. Mm -hmm. If you're going to get rid of it, get, get rid, rid of it. it. Don't kick it the giant Mexican's ass <laughs> in front of you. Can I say that? Of course you can. He is Mexican. Yeah. It felt offensive to say the way I said it. Moving on to Villa Wolves. Yeah. Villa Wolves. Aston Villa Wolves. What's the day? No. <laughs> What's no, the day? Don't worry about it. Oh man, you're at fault for this one. Yeah, it's me, Diego Carlos. He, he thinks he plays for Wolves for a second here, Sean, and just gives Cunha the ball. Great you don't balls. play. You don't play for Wolves, bro. You you play for Villa. I mean, their kits are simple. <laughs> no. Brown and orange. <laughs> yeah. If you close your eyes, if you, can, you close your eyes, pass to anyone. Don't pass to Cunha. This was Good. an easy layup. Another, very another head in hand straight away as well. Cameramen just knew exactly what to do. Like, let's do Carl and Sean's job for him. It was on the him. Dive. It was him. I wish they did that with every goal. <laughs> wouldn't it be easy? I wouldn't have to pause this. It'd be like, <laughs> yeah, I feel like they would. They wouldn't need us then. Who's number forty-one for Brighton? <laughs> exactly. It's, it's Jack Hinshelwood. Oh yeah, he scored as well. Yeah, and he wasn't at fault for a goal. No, bang okay, bang no, good, good guy. But uh, yeah, yours is the next one, Sean. Who is it? Shane Dawson. No, <laughs> isn't it? It's Shane Dawson. It's Craig Dawson. Oh, it's Craig Dawson. Now we had the conversation. Is Dawson a first name? No. And legally, it is. Is it really? Yeah. So you can't trust. The same way I'm not counting Trent as a first name. Yeah. I'm not counting Dawson as a first name. Why is that? Because no one in their right mind would ever name their kid Dawson. <laughs> yeah, that's not... If you would call your kid Trent. He wouldn't. You would. A lot of Liverpool people will call their. And your kid Thames, mate. Oh, gosh, or Niall. Yeah. Oh, wait. Nile, that is a common name. I know. <laughs> but spelled N I L E. Yeah, yeah, true. What about Tyne? <laughs> You're not naming your kid Tyne, are you? Get Domo. What happened there? 
That's they say Toon. Went back to your Ant and Deck days. Yeah. Watch okay, the what podcast. did Dawson do, Sean? Come on, let's get to the point. He deflects it in over Johnson. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? Yeah. And you can't what... be doing that on our watch. That's, that's all you wrote. <laughs> you can't be doing that on our watch. No, nah, Sean's going to watch it. Sean's going to see it. He's going to write your name down. He's going to put it on the list. It's four hours football people. You know what you're doing. This is what he's doing. What he's done. Thank you. <laughs> well, I didn't match my energy, but never mind. Up next, Sean. Lamina. No, I can't believe it. Why? I've been telling people for years. What have you been telling them? You can't sleep on Ensry Consa. You can't. What did Lamina do, Carl? I'm going to tell you, he was sleeping at the back post, Sean. And who was he sleeping on, Carl? He was sleeping on Consa, Sean. Unbelievable. Wasn't he? Unbelievable. You can't do that. Who's got to be listening to me? <laughs> Stop getting your hair dyed and listen <laughs> to 48 hours. Do not <laughs> sleep on Consa. Done. Unbelievable. On Terry Regen. I saw, I saw Ensry Consa sprinting at the back post. I was like, oh, he's going to score. Yeah. He's going to score. <laughs> and then when he made contact with the ball, I was like, that's going miles over the bar. <laughs> and it went straight in. <laughs> Dude kicked the ball so hard. <laughs> <laughs> he's ripping to take the net off. Nice. Thank you. Welcome. Come on, your turn then. Last one. All right, Nore. Hey, Nore. That's... Who is he then? What? What's he doing? What's he done? You tell me. Okay. Your goal. He's behind Duran the whole time. Mm -hmm. He can see Duran. He knows the ball's going to be played to Duran. Oh, Black Betty. Duran Duran comes on. The 89th minute. Scores a goal. Nice. Carry on. Kind of felt like run the ads. Yeah, he's watching Duran and he knows they're going to pass Duran the ball because Duran has to score because he's got subbed on. He's exactly. subbed on. That's the rule. That's, yeah. So why is he not in <laughs> one? Why is he five yards behind him the whole time, too? Yep. Why does Duran score every game? Three. There's cheating involved. Somehow. Yeah, he's, he's letting, he's, someone's doing something. He's, he's either scenes. got an open goal to score in, yeah. or he just fancies it from 40 yards. Yeah, he smashes this one, <laughs> cleans it out. Give us a second. Oh, someone playing the drums. Technical difficulties. We're not keeping this in, right? Absolutely not. <laughs> do you put, do you guys put the back on for Ikea shit? I'm not putting this in. I don't know what I'm talking to. Do you put the back on for Ikea? No. Shit wobbling though. Not once in my life. The back is what gives it the shit structural does not integrity. Wobble. I'm putting 100 mil screws in there. All oh, right. <laughs> that structural. I, I, got, I got the equipment. From that was Palace United. Good game. Good goalkeepers, but no goals. So yeah, skip. No nil. Fun. Nothing to break down there because no one fucked up. Right. The Nottingham Forest. Or as you've put, written it here, Brinth. Bree. NF. Brinth. Bree not found. Brighton Forest. A rather dull two-two game. The whole two huh. exist. Yeah. Because this game was does. boring as hell. <laughs> exactly. First up, Belieber. What are you doing? You bring me down, you have me down, Belieber, Belieber. I don't believe da, da, he's da, done da, da, da. it. That's a good chant. Is that his chant? No, but it should be. It should be his chant. Saliba. Oh, um, we need to make a Saliba Imagine Dragons Believers chant. Saliba. Even though we're Chelsea fans. No, 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 no. No, no, not no, 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 no. That's... All right. I just made a new one. What's that? Believer. Oh, right. By Imagine Dragons. Okay. I think Justin Belieber is probably better. No, it's not. Anyway. Yeah, up first, Sean Belieber. A commandment endorsed, give pen, get fault. Can't be running into Hudson Odoi now. Can't do that. That's not allowed. After a really good bit of defending, he, he then just just chopped him down. There's rules against that. You've just, seen it. Just be faster than him. Exactly. You Who's know? up next, Sean? Milenkovic. Good name. I was praising this guy. You were. Nikolai Milenkovic. Until? Dude is eight foot tall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Literally, New guy. Literally eight foot tall. Yep. He's, he just is. And he lost a header to a five foot eleven Jack Hinchelwood. Yorker. Unreal. This header was awesome. Oh yeah, big header. Big header. Nice he, header. He fully like snaked up to get the the proper textbook header in, like the full aim and everything. Got the full spam on it. He got the full snake. Like, good header. But yeah, he's only like a foot and a half taller than him. I know. You shouldn't he's... shouldn't be going over his head. He did the jump duck. Where you jump and duck. <laughs> you just jump your shoulders. He'd still have been three foot above him. <laughs> right, Sean up next. No fault. Yeah, I get a good one. Fault. I get finally get a no fault goal. No one to really break down here. In the blue hell did this come from? I don't know. Welbeck. Just pulling this free kick out of absolutely nowhere. He has not kicked the ball like that in nine years. Yeah, I completely agree. He needs to score another one like five minutes later as well. He tiptoed past everyone and then the keeper just managed to nick it out. Now, I kept him in my fantasy this week. And I was very happy about it. Yep. And then when I looked, I didn't save the changes. Oh, what? <laughs> that is an... But guess what? That is an amateur error. I took Holland out for him. So <laughs> Holland stayed in. Yeah, yay. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Salah captain, what a mistake. He didn't play. He did play. He got 12 points. Oh. Did play. Up next. Yep. What was Shaquille O'Neal really good at? Dunking. Dunk. Yep. What are you doing? Now, I'm a bit scared that this is just a personal attack <laughs> on Mr. Lewis Dunk. What is that? Is Dunk a first name? No. Okay. You're calling you get Dunk. Dunk like Donuts. Lewis Duncan. His name's not Duncan. It's, Dun no. it's got a K in it. Duncan Donuts. Get Dunk in the comments. Donuts. Would you call Dunk oh. Duncan? Come on now. He definitely gets. If you're called Duncan, you're called Dunk on the short. Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not never trust a man with a first name and a shortened first name. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah. Come on, we're not indoors. <laughs> Simply put, he's too slow. Yeah. To be honest. And I'm sorry, Lewis, if you're watching this. You're probably not. But you're Don't just not fast enough, mate. Yeah, come on, I don't, I don't know how you train speed. 
But you just, just, well, you just got to get more powerful muscles. Do it a bit, mate. He's very tall, so it's but, difficult to be fast like, at 6'5". For the first time in his life, he was perfectly positioned. Yeah. Oh, the he, only time. He was playing the offside trap. It was yeah. beautiful. And then they beat the offside trap, and he just couldn't catch couldn't up. Couldn't catch up. Yeah, there you go. It's, it was fun to watch, to be honest. Yeah. But I'm sorry, Lewis. Well, the most anticipated game of this weekend Season. was definitely City versus Arsenal. And it looks like Arsenal just flagged right at the last. For me, if you can't get within five yards of Erling Haaland, you shouldn't be marking him. Guess who, Sean? Who? Gabriel, what are you doing? We done. I've already told you, you can't keep up with Haaland, so maybe you shouldn't be the one marking him. He was five yards ahead of you at pretty much all times. You didn't even go in for the technical foul. You just watched him go, and he toe-poked it straight past Rea. Tonk. <laughs> That's I it. Thought, I thought, oh, maybe he's... Weak out. foot toe punt. Haaland's first outside of the boot shot. He scored. Zoom, zooms in, <laughs> all big toe. <laughs> he scored. He scored like a nine-year-old playing for the first time scores. Nine-year-old? Just kick him with the toes. Just lamped you know, it. You know, when you're in school and you've got a big square front shoe. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's, if, got the, it's got that underbite. The shoe was the underbite. Shoe. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Dom, pure sky edge. Kickers nah. or whatever they were Bam, called. Bam, straight through. How do you... With, with boots nowadays, so round at the front how yeah. you toe poke it dead straight that's harder than surely than Welbeck's free kick unbelievable technique yeah. to be you know when you get tackled by a dude wearing kickers mate yeah. and they come in shin height oh, yeah, dead. and we're just playing in school trousers I've got holes in my trousers now my mum's gonna hit me exactly she would never who are you blaming for the next one? Carl Walker. Really? He's too busy shouting. He's flapping, isn't he? Yeah, he's like point. point. Yeah. yeah, he's out here, too busy shouting. Uh, I don't know whoever. Yeah. Either the ref or his centre back mm. partnership. The ball's played over his head to yeah. Martinelli. Mm -hmm. By the time he gets there, Martinelli plays it back to Calafiori, mm -hmm. who definitely puts in a pass to the back post. See, you're saying that pass. is so bad. Everyone's saying this is an inside foot shot. He's a left back, all yeah. right. <laughs> Not a single left back in the world when the ball is coming to him. In this position, thinks, Shoots like that. I'm going to inside foot it with my left foot yeah. into the far corner. Him. Yeah, so just single, overcooked across. This is a, a terrible pass. It's a great goal. Like, fair play. Everyone's screaming as well. Like, fair play. Dude ran off celebrating, like, again, they just won the league. Like he tried to do that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like, fantastic shot. Something with Italian fullbacks yeah. and just kicking the ball wrong and it going in. Zappa Costa's done it for us against Carabag. I was there live. Carabag. We went nuts. <laughs> Dude just hoofed it from the right wing and it went in. It's beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Sean, a rare double to see for Man City, Carl Walker again. Oh, the crisps. Yeah, it's got to be. He's giving Gabriel all the touches at the corner, just tapping him up, tapping him up, and then gets paced by him. I just believe. left behind. I couldn't believe it. Gabriel of all people. And then he just, Gabriel just rides over everyone and then nods this in. It must have been pure, just ego fuel for him to be like, Walker was tapping me up, then I've just nodded it over him. I thought they'd messed up the edit and just played the same clip back to back. Yeah. Because they played the exact same corner, except this time Gabriel scored. Yeah. It's like, why is no one still marking him? Exactly. They crossed it in, Gabriel headed it, it was blocked. They crossed it in, Gabriel headed it, and it wasn't blocked. You've just seen what they want to do. Yeah. Arsenal are lethal from corners this season. Exactly. And Arsenal get ahead the whole game. Trossard gets sent off. That's first half. They they played so well to keep City at bay. But the 98th minute, Sean, what happened? The ball is ping-ponging around. Pinballing all over the shop. Yeah. I'm hearing music from those pinball machines back in the day. Like when the button gets stuck and then the ball drops down and you're angry and you smash the pinball machine. <laughs> but you're eight years old and you can barely reach it. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just head the coin slot. Just leaving eyes lying yeah. here. <laughs> in the last minute of the game, uh -huh. in the most important game of your season, you're going to put your life on the line yeah. to block any shot coming in from six yards away. 100%. Not if you're William Saliba, apparently. Absolutely not. You're this guy, there. this guy wants to just poke his little toe at the ball. Yeah. He wants to be falling backwards, not <laughs> jumping headfirst into it. If this was Phil Jones. This ball does not go. <laughs> Phil Jones throws his entire body in front of this. <laughs> William Saliba decides, I could just tow this away from John Stones. No, you mm. can't. He's going to kick that ball as hard as he physically can. <laughs> yeah, and he did. Straight into the back of the net of a 2-2. Oh, my God. That is how you do a 2-2 game. Take heed, Brighton Forest. How Saliba's ankle is still in one piece. Yeah. Because Johnstone kicked this as hard as possible and it clipped the edge of his foot. <laughs> yeah. It didn't move the ball, it moved his ankle. Like, his foot shouldn't be attached. Ankle was not tense at that moment. If that was Harland shooting that ball, yeah. foot gone. Foot, yeah. foot finished. Foot goes in goal. The ball hits the bar, though. Hits too high. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never goes in. Ball pops. Exactly. Ball <laughs> pops. Now Chelsea's done it. That's how Harland's done it again. More goals from him, honestly. And how Arsenal are definitely going to bottle it. 
looks like I'm going to be going bald. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but we're not going to do the buyout. We're going to actually do it if it happens. Get in the comments if you like the video, like the video, and look forward to seeing you on the next one. Join the podcast as well, because that, not really much football related. That's more me and Sean, but it's a good laugh. You'll enjoy it. Anything to add? Bye.